saucer separation in the original Star Trek series broadcast. Did it actually happen? Did the Enterprise or any other Constitution class starship actually do this on screen? Was it even talked about? Or is it just fan fiction? I asked this question in my Tommy Toomey Tommy. 1350 scale enterprise unboxing. Many of you answered in the comments on that vid. Check the end of this vid for your name in the shout out credits. If you don't see your name, be sure you post your response to my pinned comment down below so you get the credit you deserve. Now let's dive in and get some answers. Season 2, Episode 9 The Apple. Original broadcast date October 13, 1967. Start date 3715.3. Kirk and crew find a twisted version of the Garden of Eden, full of deadly encounters, especially the overlord known as Vol, seen as a rock snakehead entryway into the planet's depths. Vol doesn't like Kirk and crew messing with his people, and subsequently renders the Enterprise's antimatter pods inert, leaving Kirk to give this command. Tie every ounce of power the ship has into the impulse engines. Discard the warp drive in the cells if you have to, and crack out of there with the main section, but get that ship out of there! Crack out of there with the main section, Kirk says. What is the main section? Let's take a look at the writer's director's guide. Yeah, the one from 1967. And see what we're dealing with here. In the writer's guide, it gives us a breakdown of the vessel. Eh, kind of general, but it does identify the saucer section at the top. And that has 11 decks in the middle. Gives us the engineering section, which the two engine nacelles are attached. Also talks about the hangar deck and also identifies the secondary propulsion system impulse power engines held within the saucer section of the vessel. Stretching out our depth of knowledge a little further in the Starfleet technical manual from 1975, we see the saucer section identified as the primary hull and then the engineering section identified as the secondary hull. Putting it all together, to me this means Kirk wants the saucer section separated and for it to crack out of there as opposed to whatever this is but wait there's more that's right one more episode from the original broadcast let's take a look at it now season 3 episode 22 the savage curtain original broadcast date march 7th 1969 start date 5906.4 a dubious lava rock race forces Kirk and Spock to play out a good versus evil scenario in order to better understand the concept. These rock creatures take the form of good and evil characters from history. Notable figures, the Klingon Kalos and the Vulcan Surak. When Captain Kirk refuses to play along with the Rock Lord's game, Yarnik decides to attack the Enterprise's matter-antimatter seal, giving the ship four hours until it blows up. Disengage the cells just as possible. And there we have it. The two episodes from the original series broadcast. What do you think? Was he talking about just the nacelles? Or the saucer separation? Post up your comments down below. Thank you for watching this video. Liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. Sharing the vids. I appreciate it. And as I promised, here is the end credits with everyone that answered the call.